Hey guys, I'm Nito King. It's been a while, so I think it's about time we finish up Toonstruck. When we last left our hero, he'd finished with pretty much everything in Nefarious' castle. We've got Nefarious' warp device, and we have access to Nefarious' malevolator. So all we really need to do now is take over the machine and go rescue Flux. I mean, it seems like it's been all too easy. Like, the guards were no threat. We hardly got captured at all. Makes me wonder what would have happened if we had gotten captured along the way. Like, for example, back in Disc 1, when the goons were coming after us and we had to keep hiding in closets. Alright, men. Let's split up! Uh, but, but, but what if one of us gets lost? Oh, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> Alright, men, let's stay close! Let's check the bakery. Oh, uh, I could be wrong, but I think Nefarious's henchmen are about to make a special guest appearance! What the hell are we gonna do? Uh, let me think. Hurl concussion bagels at them? No. The fugitives! Grab them! Well, at least the cell is... carpeted. Letting those morons catch us was really stupid. The carpeted cell is way better than we deserve. No, 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 no. Getting caught was just kinda stupid. Letting them lock our stuff in the safe, that was really stupid. We're trapped in a prison without our stuff! We're doomed! Don't worry, Flux. I'll get us out of here. Lickety split. Lickety split? Just help me think of a plan. You know, the robot maker said this place was inescapable, but we can probably just randomly play around with a keypad, right? No, it didn't work. That keypad must open the door. Quick, Flux. What's the combo? It's one, two, three. Really? No. Closed and locked. I guess that shows the length of our sentence. It seems kind of overkill to be almost 260,000 years, doesn't it? Alright, well, Flux can't help us either, so the only thing I can do is pace back and forth. And you may have noticed something there. It's a carpeted cell, so we can build up a lot of static electricity. And once we do that... Yikes! You're like a big bug zapper. Can I call you Sparky? Looks like our sentence is getting shorter. But not quite short enough. So we just keep repeating this pattern over and over again. Getting that annoying result if I don't walk quite far enough before hitting the keypad. Drew lightning blank strikes again! The downside is that it takes a couple iterations, even once you figured out the puzzle. Charge! Alright, almost there. Less than 2,000 years to go. One year left. Seriously. Actually, I'm kind of tempted at some point just to leave the game running for a year to see if it rolls over, but I really doubt it. Nice work, Drew! And look! Your hair has extra body, too! I'm not going anywhere without my bag of stuff. Yeah, life just wouldn't be the same without all that random junk we've accumulated. Yeah, we can't leave here without opening the safe, so if you didn't get the portable hole yet, you've got it for free now. And unfortunately, I kind of forgot what the shortcut solution to this puzzle was. 
messed it up a little bit, so I had to brute force the last eight pieces into place. But I should point out that once you've done this, Nefarious goons stop showing up, so you don't have to worry about getting caught a second time. There we go. Almost done. I used to do these sliding puzzles all the time as a kid, so... I'm pretty good at them. It's just a little tougher to do when you don't have the numbers available. There we go. And the last three. Ah, stuff! If you look at it, he just goes, Our stuff! Again. Now, that, of course, changes the cutscene at the start of Disc 2. So, let's take a look at what that is. Ah, my trusted henchman. Come in, come in. Please, indulge me in one simple question. Anything, Your Unholiness, you need only... Where are the fugitives I ordered you to arrest? In your own time? Why, uh, that's easy, sire. They're right where we left them. Locked in our maximum security cell, our prisoners! <laughs> I see. So, um, <laughs> tell me, you repellent larvae, how your prisoners managed to reverse the malevolation of Utopia? <gasps> Gee, that's a good question. How did they do that? Silence, fool! Oh, we'll, 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 we'll find him, sire, and, and bring him to you. It's as good as done. We'll leave no stone unturned. No rock unrolled. Hey, your malevolence, I beg you. <laughs> give us this one chance to prove that we can do your evil bidding, that we are still worthy. Go then, but do not fail me again. Remember... Reanimating your miserable corpses wasn't easy. Squeezing the life back out of them would be. Yes, sir! Scary as ever, that man. So, let's see what else happens if I were to get captured in the palace again, particularly by these gator guards, who I avoided previously by ducking into the showers, you may remember. This should be fun. Here's Drew! Now, at this point, I can't walk anywhere in the room. I'm just stuck standing where I am. Go ahead! Arrest me! I'm not afraid of you! Mommy! Hey, Mr. Smarty Pants. I got news for you. Uh... You think you're so clever, but I'm gonna have the... the laugh after yours! <laughs> I'm gonna vacuum up every last piece of that dust. This dungeon will be so clean it... It won't be dirty anymore! Knock yourself out. And at this point, we can't even talk to him. This guy sucks. So, obviously, we have to play around with the controls for the vacuum cleaner. Now, the most obvious thing to do is to switch it over to blow. But that doesn't fool him. So what we need to do is turn it off and make him look into the tube. While he's doing that, now we switch it over to blow. <laughs> Dumb machine. And we still don't catch him. So you gotta be quick about this. Turn it off, set it to blow, and then turn it back off. He caught on. The key to my cell. I'm free! Again! I better grab my stuff. And once again, we get to wander around the castle carefree. So let's see what other trouble we can get into, shall we?
For example, getting caught by the goons again. I can't reach it from here. And somehow just marching over there and taking it seems inadvisable. No, definitely inadvisable. So, we'll just walk as far as we can go. We can't get into the room. I can't. Should we? Oh, uh, yeah. Eh, we've already heard these conversations. So, skip ahead and let's use that pin to open the crate. This auto. And just kind of breeze through the conversation with Ray. We already know what he's going to say. Probably should have planned this a bit better, but it isn't that long a conversation if you're hitting escape at every line. And now we'll hop into the crate. The oldest trick in the book. And see what happens if we get caught hopping across the room. Aha! Frog! You know what they say to frogs that hop around too much? They say, get back over there with the other boxes and stop hopping around so much. This means you. Rats! I mean, ribbit. Alright, let's go for that again. Aha! Bad frog, back to the crates. Rats! I mean, ribbit. Stay! Play dead! Mm, that frog sure makes a great pet. Alright, any more lines from you? Aha! Bad frog! Back to the Rats! I mean Apparently not. Ribbit. Stay! Okay, so now let's get caught by goggles. Uh -huh. Which means we gotta uh -huh. hop past Lugnut. Hmm. Huh? There we Lugnut. go. Tell that frog he better get back where he belongs, or else. Frog, you better get back where you belong, or else. How was that? Rats. I mean, ribbit. Huh? Okay, let's see if he's got another line. Huh? Hmm. Huh? The crate is on the move again. Yeah, missed that one. Hey, frog! Get back over there with the other boxes. Hop to it! I guess it's a good thing I got the subtitles on. At least you should be able to read I it. Mean... Okay, and feedback. Huh? Give him one chance to say something interesting. Huh? Huh? Kind of waiting for Lugnut oh. to turn around that time. Huh? Oh. <gasps> Our poor flippered friend is restless. Hey, Frog! Get back over there with the other boxes! Rats! I mean, Ribbit. Remember, boxes are your friends. All right, I don't think we're going to see anything else interesting from there, so... Let's hop out. Still can't get any closer. What should I tell them? To throw me back in jail? What should I tell them? To throw me back in jail? Doesn't look like I can get caught. That radio is so loud, it's a wonder they can hear themselves think. Hey! Did you hear the one about the guy who couldn't remember the punchlines, the jokes? He... Oh, darn. I think that's as good a way to end the scene as any. So moving on, there's one more thing I didn't play around with, and that's the security devices in this room. So let's see first what happens if I stick an unauthorized hand in the scanner over here. I guess that wasn't an authorized hand. I wonder what happens if I do it again. Never let it be said that I'm a man who learns from his mistakes. <laughs> hmm. 
Alright, well, that was fun. Now, of course, we gotta try out Miss Fortune's door here. Hello, this is Miss Fortune. Welcome to the CAT scan voice recognition system. If you are not an authorized user, I strongly suggest you nip this childish little prank in the bud before somebody gets hurt, namely you. Otherwise, please state your name as a tone. Well, if I'm gonna do a bad impression, let's go all the way. But the far is. Voice pattern not recognized. Imposter! Despite your laughable attempt to invade my private quarters, I shall grant you a reading. I see serious trouble in your future. Very serious indeed. In fact, something unpleasant is going to happen to you very shortly. What, what, what she means by that? And that's the only other instance of tunification in the game that I can remember. Let's see what happens if we do it again. This time with a squeaky voice. Hello, this is Ms. Fortune. Welcome to the CAT scan voice recognition system. Please state your name at the tone. Feedback. Voice pattern not recognized. Imposter! Oh dear. Always just at the right time. So, as far as I can tell, the only way to get captured is by these gators, or misfortune. This should be fun. I kind of wonder, can I get away from these guys by going back down the air vent? See you later, alligators. So there you go, you don't even need to use the shower at all. But I do want to get captured and see what else Snout has in store for me, so let's get on with it. This should be fun. Here's Drew! And like I said, I still can't walk anywhere except directly to the shower or to the air vent. Go ahead! Arrest me! I'm not afraid of you! Mommy... Hey... Where'd he go? Oh, looks like he left a note. Forget it. I quit. You can just rot here all by yourself. Uh, P.S. The key is under the mat. Well, that was nice of him. I better grab my stuff. And of course, I can always leave the welcome mat there, but I so want to take it with me. And with that, let's get back to what we were doing before, and go ahead and finish up the game. You guys are ready for this. Yes! I did it! Yahoo! Here it goes. Congratulations, huh? Mr. Blank. I was, of course, expecting you. Congratulations. Not necessary. I haven't seen such pathetic security since... Well, since the last time I dealt with your henchmen, I have to admit, I expected more from you, Nefarious. Now say goodbye to your machine. Just a moment, Mr. Blank. Don't bother, Nefarious. There's nothing you can say. Nothing? Well, then answer me this. Why would you want to embark on this asinine little outing when I can simply send you back to your own world? No deal. 
I've heard enough. But, Mr. Blank, I'm only looking out for your best interests. Remember your unfortunate little run-in with my syringe. The clock is ticking. This may be your last chance. I don't need your help, Napoleus. I've already found your warp device, and now I'm gonna blow you right out of the sky. Stop! I command you! I haven't finished! Machine, faster! There you are, Nefarious. You too, Fluffy. Come on, come on. Almost there. Say goodnight. Yes! Hold on, Flux, little buddy. Hold on. Give me, Flux. This is the only way. Huh? Where am I? Whoa! I'm flying! Flux? Where did you go, little buddy? Oh, is this fun or what? What? Oh, I'm probably to my dad. Oh, come on, you big sissy. No two never died from a little old fall. Although, I guess that doesn't help you much. Fox! It gets worse! The fire shot me full, Beauty Jimmy! Any minute now, I'm going to turn into a tube! Even if the fall doesn't kill me, I'll be trapped here forever! Drew, you're doomed. Listen, I do have one hope. Ah! I stole this warp device from the forest and they sent me home. Oh, they may blow me up. To smithereens, either way, I'm going to have to use it. Now! Wait! Take this! It's a trans-dimensional communication device. You know, so we can keep in touch. Thanks for saving me and the world. I had a blast. Me too. So long, little buddy! So long, little buddy. So long, little buddy. Fluffy Fluffy Bun Bun Show needs is Flux Wildly. Yes! Well, well, Blank. You're early. What happened to you? Pulled an all nighter, Mr. Schmaltz. Hmm. Well, do me a favor. Lose the stubble. Now, let me see those rabbits. Actually, sir, what I'm about to show you is better than bunnies. Better than bunnies? Mm -hmm. What the hell are you talking about? I'm talking about... Flux Wildly! Flux what? Wildly, sir. Flux Wildly. This little guy is just the revitalizing shot in the arm you yourself suggested the Fluffy Show needs. Although I think Flux would probably describe it more as... A kick up the old wazoo! See, sir? Flux is wacky. He's sarcastic. He's playful. He'll be the lord of Fluffy's Hardy, the Costello to Fluffy's Abbott, the yin to Fluffy's Yang. <laughs> Fox and Fluffy, Laurel and Hardy, yin and yang. 
Min. Yang. Blank! I've been patient with your little lapses. But this... This is inexcusable! Are you single-handedly trying to destroy everything Fluffy has built for us over the last ten years? Well, are you? No, 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 no. <laughs> then I suggest you do what I told you to do. Produce the biggest bushy-tailed batch of cute, cuddly bunnies ever rendered by first thing tomorrow morning. Or else, you'll find that it will be you who gets the kick of the old wazoo. Yes. Thank you. So Sorry, buddy. I tried. I really tried. I wish there was some way I could make it up to you. Toonstruck. Hope everybody enjoyed watching me play it as much as I enjoyed playing it. I love having the opportunity to go back through these games from my youth and find things that I never even knew existed. So... I'm gonna kind of let you guys enjoy the credits. There's about three more minutes of this. The music's kind of nice. I think you gotta like that hypnotic spiral effect that's going on. But I do want to make a special mention again of the incredible voice casting from this game. They got some people who've done incredible things, including this. This was wonderful, and I hope that the constant sound skipping from my recording method didn't really put anyone off. But... I prepared a little bonus feature that's going to be at the end of the credits, just as a reward for sitting through them all or figuring out exactly how far you got to advance the movie counter. Just to highlight some of the other things that these people have done. One who unfortunately kind of slipped through the cracks while I was doing the bonus feature, and I want to mention April Winchell, who did Ms. Fitz's voice and Polly, was also in Who Framed Roger Rabbit. I believe she played Baby Herman's mother. She may have done the voice of Baby Herman when he wasn't acting like an adult. IMDB doesn't list her with that credit until the follow-on Roger Rabbit shorts. So, it, it doesn't say who did that voice. It might have been the same guy that did the adult Baby Herman voice, and she took over for the rest of it. Kind of like Frank Welker, who also did a lot of animal noises in Who Framed Roger Rabbit, like Dumbo. He uh, took over as Scooby-Doo after Don Messick left the show. He had always been doing Freddy's voice. And of course, Jim Cummings, one of his many, many credits, was one of the bullets in Who Framed Roger Rabbit. All those cartoon bullets. I don't know which one was him. I could probably figure it out if I really listened, but... You guys can probably figure that out just as easily. But, anyway... Thanks everyone again for watching the LP, commenting on the thread... Even the people who complained that I was taking too long with this finale video. Hopefully, it was worth the wait and enjoy the bonus feature.
Please. <laughs> I'm looking for a murderer. A rabbit! If you don't stop this laughing, you're gonna end up dead just like an idiot hiding a cousin! Quite a loony selection for a group of drunken reprobates. I'm lucky to see the light of day every century or two. What you're thinking and the answer is yes i am available i'd like to take this moment to say i was against this from the start and as i always say if it's not baroque don't fix it <laughs> unfair to the payor enough to the payee <laughs> but you're gonna pay it or else several months ago i had the good providence to stumble upon this plan of the city council a construction plan of epic proportions. We are calling it a freeway. Eight lanes of shimmering cement running from here to Pasadena. Smooth, safe, fast. Traffic jams will be a thing of the past. I see a place where people get on and off the freeway. On and off, off and on, all day, all night. Soon. Where Toontown once stood will be a string of gas stations, inexpensive motels, restaurants that serve rapidly prepared food, tire salons, automobile dealerships, and wonderful, wonderful billboards reaching as far as the eye can see. Like a giant billboard that says no fat chicks? My God, it'll be beautiful. I want to be a monorail conductor. It's my lifelong dream. Mono, don't! Sorceresses, bah! We don't need their scum. Yes, sir! We got plenty of our own. You're telling me? I just came back from a place called the Swamps of Sorrow. You should have seen it. There are a bunch of green, ugly things with horns. I was frozen today! Boy, this mystery's getting more mysterious by the minute. Roads, where we're going, we don't need. There's so much I don't know about astrophysics. I wish I read that book by that wheelchair guy. At least I got to see you one last time. Wilderness girls. <laughs> Wait a minute. So who did I kill? My butler. Oh, shucks. Are you ready to drop dead today? 
I see working for a tune has rubbed off on you. I'm just a sweet transvestite from transsexual Transylvania. Put that one on the psycho list.